Ngayon ba nga ba yung tayo ang kanagsak, ikigay tinasak mo nga minsan yung tayong gaya, si panagyaman ni Reverend Father John Erolis Mantis, si may ka, ba yung tinatawag na akas pade. Karitay mo si Kararagan, si Kararuan ni Diego Rujas, ngayon datong si Rizat Rujas Family, si Limon Duran, Colin Ivan, ngayon datong ni Horaton Duran, si Kasapi Ivan, si Recovery ni Rose Garcia. the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us 
I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers, and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wonders deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His only arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you land. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let us all stand.
to call me and my brother and sister, Father Epi, would someone would say, Have I been with you for so long a time and you still you do not know me ever? Indeed, every time I celebrate my anniversary to the priesthood, I keep on asking why me? Even to celebrate 20 years, why me? I have given also an expiration. I told myself I will only be good 10 years in the prison. And now, 20 years. That's for me how and why. Why me? And God would say, you have been with me, you don't know me. Indeed, I will never know him who called me except giving me this grace. I will never be worthy. I have my own doubts and faults. I have my own shortcomings. I failed him many times. I am also at the brink of saying, I have also enough, but still, I don't know him, and he keeps on calling me. And that's how and wow it is. Even in this time where we are experiencing the pandemic of a virus, Imagine celebrating 20 years with this. It's a challenge, therefore. It opens many possibilities on how we now look on the church, on how we could deliver sacramentals and sacraments to people. It is a time for us to adjust in many things. Besides looking on our uncertainties, why not look on the many possibilities that this situation offers to us? How we look on our ministries, how we look now the church, how we look on our celebration, how we deal with many challenges. It is so important that at this point we look, are we still relevant? Is this still relevant? Is the church able to respond to us. Perhaps more than looking on the church is looking on the family as the basic of formation of the church. That our family is the start of all we start to learn prayers in the church, in our own family. We start to know who God is by our relationship with our parents. We learn to and understand how the church works by our own family, and we are catechized by it. That is why 
My dear friends, it is really a challenge how we deal and how to live in this kind of situation. Now, I ask you, in this month of May, as we call it Lones de Maria, we offer our peace and dedicate them to our Mary. Because in this time, we thought they need, they don't need, rather they don't need us. But rather they need you. It is also a challenge for us not to minister as the way we want it. Still, it is a calling. And I do hope we offer this to our Lord through our blessed mother. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, for the deepening of our service of you, so that what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time about all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew call, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Lord, teach us to pray. We pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer to each other the sign of peace. peace
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
ijay linapuhanggana, ijay chapel ka, afterwards, ag sublin tong ako. So, nakapakada tayo met, kinagyaman natin na ako Alex, tapos nalagusan na tayo na may sedrek, tapos na met ako na nadalagiti na dumang na agsal sa lusot, at ipalubos na met ako. So, to no May 15, manayunan ako, intero na barangay, itiili tayo matubaw, at mapanan ni ako sa isip. Let us pray. For the glory of your name, O Lord, I have joyfully celebrated the mystery of faith to mark the anniversary of my priestly ordination so that I may be in truth what I have handled mystically in this sacrifice to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thank you.